Hello and welcome to the channel where we talk about all things Y Schwartz and chill with friends. My name is Liam and today we're going to We're going to the Academy. Now, if you are new to the channel here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this type of video, please make sure to hit that like button. Every Tuesday, we release a Weiss and Chill Academy video. And every Friday, we release a general Weiss Watts video. So if you enjoy that and you want to be notified of when I upload new content to YouTube, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. As well as that, please make sure to check out my other social medias on Discord, on Twitch, and on Twitter. Links are in the description below but let's go to class so in today's video i'm going to be covering how to play y schwartz on tabletop simulator now tabletop simulator if you're not aware is a game that is available on steam for about 15 14 pound unless you get it on sale which i strongly recommend you get it on sale because it goes on sale quite a lot and what you can do is play any board game any tabletop game things like that and there are people that have made stuff on there so that you can play y schwartz um, so what we're going to do today is go through one, what you need for Tabletop Simulator in terms of preparing your play mats and things like that. Secondly, how to prepare your deck. Thirdly, how to import your deck into Tabletop Simulator. And finally, I'll be going through some very quick uh, keyboard shortcuts and commands to help you use uh, the Tabletop Simulator to the best of its capability. So the first thing I'm going to cover is creating your deck so that you can actually use it in tabletop. So what you need first of all is to create a deck. What you can use for that, you can use something like Decklog. I recommend it because the card images are the official, they're sample. Uh, you can just copy and paste the images, which are pretty good. Um, and basically use something like this um, if you are making a deck from card images. This also works if you have made a custom set using Magic Set Editor 2, which I might do a video on how to create a custom set down the line. Uh, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. Um, but deck log, so all you can do in deck log, for example, is you can go scroll down here, click Y Schwartz, and basically determine what deck you want to build. Uh, we'll start with Neo Standard, because most of the time we play Y Schwartz in Neo Standard. And let's say I wanted to build a deck on Ashoka Tensei, one of the latest English releases. And what you can do, you obviously get all the cards on here, you get some filtering on the side as well. You also get signatures, so if you want to use the nice signed cards, you're welcome to. Uh, and you can build a deck like this by simply clicking card and clicking it a few times and selecting the number of cards that you want. And basically, once you've completed that deck, you can confirm your deck, and then I'll take you through the next step in a moment to how to take those card images and then import them into a deck format for Tabletop Sim. And as you can see here, I've actually put this deck together. This is a pretty standard list for 8 stand by Mashoku. And once you've done that, all you can do is open a folder up in your root directory, in your WIT windows, and just drag the images over as I've already done. Um, literally, so for example, I could get rid of this image here for the runner, and literally grab the runner, drag it in, and it's downloaded it onto my system. Um, with that, I've now got all the card images I need, so all I'm going to do now is build the deck. Now, in order to do that, you need to use the inbuilt Tabletop Simulator Deck Editor in the Mods folder for Tabletop Sim. In order to get that, all you've got to do in your Steam is right-click your Tabletop Simulator, go to Manage, Browse local files. Once you've done that, you'll get a list of items here. If you then go to modding, deck builder, and then you see the application file here, click that. And that will open the, 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 file, the program that you need. I'd recommend making a shortcut and putting it to your start menu or something like that, just so it's easier to find. Um, but that's how you find the actual program to get onto the deck editor. And once you've done that, you've got the deck editor open here. You can see that I've made some decks. You can see I've already made an eight standby deck. But let me show you how to create a new deck. So what you need to do is click the new deck option under start. Uh, choose your width and height. So I always go 10 and 5. Uh, just because it's 10 times 5 is 50, which is a 50 card wise deck. Click OK and you'll see this blank screen. Don't worry, it is not broken. At this point here, start dragging a card from your images into your deck uh, editor. And you can start building your deck. So I'm going to run four copies of the Rudy Runner by copy and pasting. I want one copy of the Rest Counter, so on and so forth. Until you get a deck that looks like this. 
So, here you go. Here's the full deck put into Tabletop Simulator with, again, everything from the images that I've dragged across. And once you've done that, you can save that file. But most importantly, you need to make sure you export the file as a PNG. When you click this file, you'll see current deck size, max deck size, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you want to make sure it's as big as it goes. So if you keep maxing this out and it doesn't go any higher, that's pretty much what you want to see. Then you hit export and save it to a folder where you want on your file. And as you can see on my screen here, I've got my deck editor file here and also the PNG link to it. If I open this up, you'll see a nice image here of the entire deck in its entirety. Um, what we're going to do with this now is you can do this one of two ways. I personally will choose the way that I'm going to show you, but you can also just upload directly to Tabletop Sim. But let me show you a step that I would add in this section here. So my next step would be to create an Imager account, if you haven't already, and to upload your image to Imager. So what you can do, you can see here that I've already added the Mashoku Tensei uh, deck list, as well as a set of sleeves. Um, you can use any set of sleeve images from Google, just Google like uh, know, Mashoku Tensei character sleeves or whatever character sleeves you want. You can have custom ones, you can make your own ones. Um, for example, as you saw on the previous screen here, I actually made some for Weiss and Chill. Uh, which if you've been on my tabletop simulator streams recently, you would have seen those. But once you've got it onto Imager here, uh, all you'd have to do is basically, when you're onto the Imager, just drag the file from the folder into Imager. Uh, it will upload the file, it will do all this, and then all you got to do is go back to your posts, and then find your post and click on it here. If you right-click and open, images and, uh, open image in new tab, you'll see here you'll have the JPEG file here as a file that you could actually take. Um, what I would do here is this uh, URL, the uh, website address, make sure you copy that because you will need that for uploading your deck. What I'm also going to do at the same time, I'm going to do exactly the same for the sleeves. I'm not going to copy and paste it yet just because I need to actually open up Tabletop Simulator now. Now once you've got Tabletop Simulator open, all you've got to do is create a single player game and basically um, start creating so we'll just choose a random board um it doesn't really matter what we pick here uh i'm gonna pick mahjong sure why not so it just gives me a table i'm just gonna remove everything by dragging over and deleting everything and then we're going to create our deck so what you need to do to do this now is go to objects components cards custom deck and then click somewhere and then hit escape on your keyboard and you'll get this little window here um what you'll need to do is what, first of all, paste the URLs from Imager into your face and your back. You'll also need to adjust your uh, width and height and the number of cards in your deck. And also do some other little bits of So, first things first, I'm going to grab the URL that I copied earlier from my deck list and put it into the face section. That is the full 50 cards of the deck. For the back, I'm going to put the card sleeves URL in there and paste that in as well. I'm going to adjust my width and height to make my make, keep my width 10, make my height 5, change my number to 50, and also make sure that this back is hidden box is ticked, meaning that when the cards are in your hand, the, basically your opponent sees the card sleeves and not a copy of a card in the deck. Uh, once you click import on there, you can see we have a fantastic little deck. Uh, it's already imported to the correct size uh, with the table that we're going to use in a moment, which I'll show you. But then what you can do, for example, you can right click on this, hit search, and you can see all of your fantastic cards in here. Uh, if I was to add a couple of cards to my hand, for example, you can see them come to my hand. I can hit alt to make them bigger, uh, but I'll go through this keyboard shortcut in a moment, so make sure you stick around. But once you've got the deck imported, the first thing you need to do once you've done that is save your object. All you've got to do is right click the deck, hit save object, choose where you want to save it. So you can create folders. For example, I've got one dedicated to Weiss Schwartz decks. And I would call it, say, MTI 8 Standby. And I would save that. Uh, I won't save it now because I've already got it saved. Um, but you just save that. And then what it will do is if you go to your objects, saved objects, go into the relevant folder where you've put it. You can see I've got all my saved decks here. But my Mashoku Tensei deck is here ready to go. And if you click that and spawn it, your deck is ready to play. Um, so that's how you s upload a deck into Tabletop Simulator using the card images. There are other ways to do it in terms of adding translations and things like that, but I will leave that for another video because that's a bit more complex. So now that your deck is in Tabletop Simulator, the next thing you need to do is close, it, uh, close the game and you need to find the Tabletop Simulator table 
um, for Weishports. This has been made by Ian TCG. It's automated with buttons. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, he has made a video on that himself. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, but what you can do from this point is if you go to uh, Workshop within Tabletop Simulator, if you search for Weishports, then you will see a load of these different ones. But the one that you want is specifically the Weishwartz Automated Mat by ENTCG. If you click that, you will see an option to subscribe. Obviously, I am already subscribed because I use this. Uh, so click that button to subscribe to it. And what that will do is when you reopen your game, basically the tabletop simulator like preset map for this will basically be available to use in your workshop when you load a new game. So again, when you're ready to go, uh, I'm going to create, I'd create a multiplayer game so that one of my friends could come and join me. I'd create a server. You will see this here and then in your workshop, you see I've got a load of stuff in here, but you'll see that I've got the Weishwartz automated mat with phases. If I click that and click load, we have our Weishwartz playmat. It's got locks. Uh, it's basically where you put cards, it puts it into the actual correct spot. Um, one thing I'd recommend as well is on your rotation degrees, it will be preset to 15 degrees. If you're playing Weishwartz, change it to 90 degrees. It'll make life so much easier. Trust me. Um, but once you've got this, you are ready to play. Um, personally, I don't like having the phases. I tend to skip the whole going first, going second, and the phases. So you've just got these automated buttons here. But now what I would do, again, I would go to my saved objects. I would go to my Weiss decks. I would find the deck that I've just made, my Mashoko Tensei deck. I would put it to my deck. Once you've done that, make sure you hit escape so you don't keep spawning decks. And now we're ready to go. Um, so what we're going to do now is go through some very, very quick uh, commands on the keyboard in terms of how to uh, play uh, the game in Tabletop Simulator. Um, but yeah, there are some keyboard shortcuts that I strongly recommend learning and getting used to because it will make you playing the game on Tabletop Simulator that little bit more enjoyable and a bit more efficient. So first things first, how do you shuffle a deck? Uh, all you got to do is hover your hand or hover your cursor over the deck and hit R on your keyboard. If you hit that a few times, just for the sake of shuffling, if you then search, you see this deck has been shuffled. If I was then press R a few times again and go back into it, it's been shuffled again. So R is basically your shuffle or um, what they call, uh, not reset. Uh, I can't remember what it is. Oh, it is literally shuffle. Yeah, shuffle is R. Um, as well as that, what you can do is uh, draw cards. So if you wanted to draw, say, five cards to do your starting hand, if you press five on your keyboard, uh, where like at the top of the main part of the keyboard, if you press five, you will draw five cards. Um, if I wanted to say discard two for my starting hand, or discard three, four for my starting hand, I need to draw four back up for my starting hand, I'd press four and draw four new cards. Um, Next things as well to worry about uh, in terms of keyboard shortcuts are like how to rotate your cards. So for example, I've got a character here. If I press E on my keyboard with my 90 degree rotation, I turn 90 degrees to tap. Um, you could tap it again to be reversed and you can sort of go with that. Um, again, so characters will go like into these lock locations, as you can see, like cards. Uh, same with clocks, so they'll basically, you can like lay them up here. Um, same with your stock as well. Uh, if you want to flip a card over, which you will do, obviously, for stock, you press F on your keyboard and it flips the card over. Um, more shortcuts as well. If you wanted to actually move around the keyboard, you can do WASD to move around. If you don't want to go back, if you've accidentally moved your keyboard or you've sort of used the right-click button to sort of move your angle, if you want to move back, hit the space bar and it resets your camera. Um, the other things that you need to worry about is about searching and things like that. The only way to search, you have to right-click and you have to click search. You can't do it by a keyboard shortcut. Um, so you have to be actually right click and go into search your deck. Um, but that's pretty much it. Same with dice as well with the shuffling, for example. You could either actually throw it around and then roll it and literally see what you get. Or you can just keep smashing that R button and it will refresh the, and it will basically spin the, the dice in the air. Um, that's pretty much it. Now in terms of the buttons that are actually in the actual uh, table mode itself, what I'm going to do is, oh, that's another button. Uh, if you want to, all your cards, you want to put them back together, if you highlight all over all over your cards and then press G, it groups all your cards and puts them back together. How easy is that? Um, so I'm going to shuffle my deck again. And what I'm going to do is play a hand. So I'm going to draw five cards. Oop, I accidentally hit too many cards there. Hmm. We'll hit Control Z and we'll put cards back to where they were. Uh, when you do this, you see sometimes it breaks a bit. It resets your phases and things like that. 
Um, if you want to delete stuff that's not on there, you literally like, click or hover over what you want to delete and press the delete key on your keyboard and you can get rid of stuff. Um, so let's bring that back, group, and I'm going to go to shuffle. I'm going to draw five cards, not 45. And we're going to play a, a test hand. So I'm going to ditch one, ditch two, ditch three. And um, what they've got here, the reason why they've got two waiting rooms, normally in Wise Watch, you are not allowed to separate your waiting room into two separate piles. But for the sake of tabletop simulator, it's usually a lot easier to separate your climaxes rather than having to go and search and count your climaxes manually. Um, so you can basically have your climaxes in one pile and the rest of it in another pile. But bear in mind that during an actual game, you are not allowed to do this. But on tabletop simulator, it's pretty good. Um, so I've discarded three, draw three. I say I'm going first, so I'm going to draw for turn. Uh, I'm going to choose to put this to clock to draw two new cards by pressing the two button. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my Rudius Runner. And I'm going to enter my attack phase and declare my attack. So I'm going to rest. Now to reveal the top card on my deck, you can do it in two ways. One, you can literally drag the top card of your deck, press F and flip it over. Or on this map, what you can do is hit the flip top guard button. It puts it into a resolution zone. Uh, I have triggered a standby, so I can go into my waiting room. So I can search my waiting room and play a level one higher in rested. And then, once you've done that, any cards in a resolution zone, if I want to put that to stock, I can click this button here and it will send that card to stock. Same with if I take damage and reveal top cards on my deck and want to put it to clock, I would press clock and it would put it in the order that it actually came down. Same time as well, if, for example, like in this situation, on the first attack I cancelled, you can press waiting room and it will put that card to waiting room. It puts it into the same pile all the time, so if you do get a climax, I recommend just dragging that in manually yourself before you hit it to waiting room. As well as that, if you have to do like a blind stock or anything like that, you've got these top to stop buttons, so you can basically click that and hit cards without uh, seeing it. Same with top card to clock, you can just top card to clock as if you're taking refresh penalty. Uh, top to waiting room as well, and you've also got the look at card, so if it's a look at and you like get to add a card without your opponent looking, uh, you can look at one, two, three. It takes to the side. You can see them, but your opponent will not be able to. And then based upon what card you want, press the one button as if you're drawing it to add it to your hand and then use to waiting room. Or you can put the top or bottom, like for scry. Um, it's fantastic. What I strongly recommend is have a play with the system. You've got the stand all button as well if you want to, or you can do it manually. Um, there's so much more you can do with this, but this is a fantastic way to put a deck in, um, test a deck out, and I recently did this for D-Side Trauma Ray. Uh, I also did this when I first tried out my eight stat, my eight two soul uh, deck profile for Bang Dream, which if you haven't seen that deck profile video, make sure you check this video up here and you can check that out. But that is it for today's uh, video. Like we said, we have covered how to build a deck on Tabletop Simulator, how to set up your Weisschwartz Simulator, basically deck table, how to uh, actually import the deck into Tabletop Simulator, and also some basic keyboard commands and shortcuts in order to play most efficiently. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button. Uh, and let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. Uh, is there anything about Tabletop Simulator that you think I've missed regarding Y Schwartz? Is there any shortcuts I've missed? Uh, is there anything that you would like to know? Uh, like I said, there was something about where you can actually uh, upload decks with, uh, basically upload decks with translations from Encore decks. Now, I haven't covered that in this video because that's quite a, a difficult thing. But if you're interested to learn about that, I will happily make a second video on how to import Japanese decks from Encore decks with their translations. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below and again, hit that like button. And if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out my other socials, like I said earlier, on Twitch, on Discord and on Twitter, where I occasionally post random stuff about white shorts. But thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye! Yeah, 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 yeah.